need to get to my office. From there, we can see how bad things really are. Okay, stick close, follow my orders, and I'm sure everything will be fine. Let's go. place was Got a minute? Yet. 
But I don't think I can get up. You kept them from using the elevator? Yeah. I... I sent the elevator... Nice. ...elevator down to the basement, like you wanted, and shut it down. Good. Shot quite a few of them, before they decided to leave it alone in here. Yeah. Uh, bets. Haven't seen anybody for quite a while. I think... It's hard to keep track of time. Are you sure you can't get up? I could really use your help. Yeah, Jack. I'm pretty damn sure. Well, then don't worry about it. Me and your friend here will have to take care of things ourselves. They've definitely reached the basement. Although I don't understand how they knew how to get past... It doesn't matter now. We'll have to go through the abandoned part of the building. It looks like the Abremelin field is still functioning. Although several of the security doors in the basement have already been breached. We'd better hurry if we want to stop them. They seem determined to reach Lorenzo for some reason. What exactly is going on here? I suppose it's time you knew. It's hard to overstate exactly how dangerous the artifact has made Lorenzo. In addition to being homicidally psychotic, he has also gained enhanced strength and unusual resistance to most kinds of physical damage. He also commands a kind of local telekinesis, which appears to be projected by the artifact itself. Now, we need to get to the basement before these intruders find a way to set Lorenzo free. Follow me. Be careful, Jack. You too. never used this wing. Nobody's been in here for decades. There's no telling what we'll run into. Yes. Let's hope we can find a way through. The utility elevator is on the bottom floor.
look alive. trying to shut down the Abremelin field. That's the only thing keeping Lorenzo from breaking out of there. We need to get in there and stop them. Hello, Jack. It's been a long time since I've had the pleasure of a personal visit. Father, I will stop this. My powers have grown, Jack. The artifact still has so much to teach me. Once I am free, I will be happy to teach you too. No, I can't let you out until I can remove the artifact. Balls! They've locked down all the security doors. I'll have to open them one by one from here while you work your way down the hallway. Quickly now! We need to shut down the containment field in order to open the door. They're breaking through the security doors! Hurry it up! You're running out of time. I'm opening the main door! Hurry! The umbrella is here! Apparently, even the simplest task was beyond your capability.
Everything Jack has told you. Who do you think is really the crazy one here? <clears throat> ah, at long last, you did the right thing. You'll see. Father, don't do this. Too late, Jack. Why don't you wait there so that we can have that little chat? So long, old you. Get away while you can. It seems Jack doesn't want to talk to his father. We'll have to kill him, you know, and all the rest of them. Say I do help you kill Jack and the rest of your family. What's in it for me? What Jack stole from me, I will give to you freely. The gift of immortality. But first, I have some unfinished business to deal with. With your help, I trust. Meet me at Cabot House. I'm sure that's where the rats will congregate. Excuse me. I'll meet you at Cabot House. Bingo.
Why did you release Lorenzo? I wasn't sure who was telling the truth, you or him. And now he's coming here to kill all of us. Are you satisfied? This is my fault. I hired this idiot, and she betrayed you. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't just kill you right now. If I wanted to kill you, you'd be dead already. I can see why you like her, Edward. She has such a way with words. <gasps> oh my! Ah, you're all here. Good. How, how did you get in here? Why so surprised? This is my house. Uh, whoever lives here must I have like what you've done with the place. Lorenzo, thank God you finally escaped. Jactus wouldn't listen. Miss you Silent. know I would never. You have all betrayed me. Kept me a prisoner and fed off me like vampires to prolong your pathetic, worthless lives. That is now over. Your time is up. Bring it on! shouldn't be using the serum. But who could resist such a temptation? <clears throat> now do you see? I told you what would happen if Lorenzo got free. How could I have known he would be so dangerous? You could have listened to me. I made it very clear how important it was for you to follow my instructions. But it could have been worse. Much worse. At least nobody died. A small miracle, really. I only wish I'd been able to find some way to cure my father before it came to this. I still believe that with a little more time, I might have found some way to remove the artifact. But it doesn't matter now. What now? I need to bury my father and clean up this mess. I won't be back to Parsons again. Before you go, you did make the right choice in the end. So I feel I owe you something for your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. I think I deserve more than that, after saving you and your whole family. You're right, you're right. I, I'm a little muddled at the moment. Let me think. You know, I was so close to understanding the artifact. Now that I can study it directly, I may be able to do something useful with it. Come back in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. Lorenzo might have killed us all if it wasn't for you. He's lying! Do the right thing. Out of here. Just open the door. I just set the last generator and I can end this. I think there's still time. Do not listen to him. This is what he does. Surely you can see that. Everything my son has told you about me is a self-serving lie. That must be obvious now. Do the right thing. Let me out of here. That's it! Don't worry. Take radiation won't harm you. Sorry, Father. I did everything I could to avoid this. I believe I was close to finding a way to remove the artifact. Liar! You didn't want me here forever if you'd had your way. Puny worm. Do you trust? 
truly think you have the power to destroy me? choice, did we? What would he have done if he'd gotten free? Oh, he would have killed both of us, and then the rest of my family. And that would only have been the beginning. His crimes back when he was free. It was only because of my family's influence that he ended up here, rather than on death row. The world now, it's a world made for monsters. Nothing could have stopped him. No. I've answered my own question. We truly had no choice. I'm sorry about Lorenzo. Thank you. I appreciate that. Before you go, I couldn't have done this without your help. I think this is fair compensation. I won't be needing your services after this. I think I deserve more than that, after saving you and your whole family. You're right, you're right. I, I'm a little muddled at the moment. Let me think. You know, I was so close to understanding the artifact. Now that I can study it directly, I may be able to do something useful with it. Come back and see me at Cabot House in a week or so. All my research may not have been completely in vain. <laughs>